Today on Side Guys, bottle flutes. Welcome to Side Guys. This is part two of the physics of sound. I'm Ryan. And I'm Mark. And today we'll be creating bottle flutes. <laughs> Helmholtz resonance is the tendency of air to vibrate within a chamber at a specific frequency. When the vibration reaches the natural frequency of the object, a sound is produced. The equipment you're going to need for this experiment is a bottle or jug. And the ingredients include water and potentially some food coloring. Although we're not dealing with anything dangerous in this episode, it's never a bad idea to wear a lab coat or apron and goggles to protect from any spills or splashes. First start out with an empty bottle. Blow across the opening at the top of the bottle to produce a sound. This is the lowest pitch that you're able to produce and it is called the principal frequency of the bottle. Next, pour some water into your bottle. Add a little bit of food coloring and mix it in. Then blow across the top of your bottle again to hear the tone and record your results. Repeat this multiple times with more water each time and record those results. We have filled three identical bottles with different levels of liquid so you can hear the different sounds. As we add more water, the pitch of the sound produced increases. Why is this? Let's look at this a little closer. As we said in our previous episode, sound, at its most basic level, is waves of pressure traveling through the air that move particles of air in a repeating pattern. The movement of these particles are interpreted by your ears as sound. So how does blowing over the opening of a bottle produce a sound? When you blow over the opening of a bottle, you add more air molecules into the bottle. The more air molecules inside the bottle, the greater the pressure. This additional pressure forces other air molecules out of the bottle, decreasing the pressure. This rapid increase and decrease in pressure causes the air molecules inside the bottle to vibrate at an increasing rate. Once this vibration reaches the natural frequency of the bottle, a sound is produced. This is known as Helmholtz resonance. The pitch of the sound that is produced is determined by the size of the container and the material the container is made out of. When our bottle is empty, the sound that is produced is the lowest possible natural pitch for that bottle. This is known as the principal frequency of the bottle. This is because the column of air that vibrates in the bottle is at its longest, and the sound waves produced are at their furthest apart. As we add water into our bottle, the column of air gets shorter and shorter and causes the sound waves produced to become closer and closer together. This produces a higher pitched sound. If we compare the change in sound when water levels increase between our singing wine glass and our bottle flute, we can see an opposite effect. As the water in the wine glass increases, the pitch gets lower. And in our bottle flute, as the water level increases, our pitch gets higher. Well, that's it for part two of the physics of sound, bottle flutes. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you like the video, to subscribe to us on YouTube and drop us a comment below. Also, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you have any questions about this episode or about science in general, feel free to drop us a message and we'll try to help you out as best possible. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Here at Sci Guys, we're always curious how experiments turn out. So if you do these experiments at home, record them and submit them to us as a video reply to this video. But remember, always get your parents' permission before you submit any videos to YouTube.